Looking at the numbers then, looking at uh, what you've reported, Morning, first Anna, half Anna. net profits uh, down by 7.8%. Give us an update on, on what's, uh, what's, up, what's uh, disappointed, I suppose, to move that number in that direction and what's pleased you about this set of numbers. Yes, good morning, Alan Manis. Uh, we had a, um, a revenue decline uh, in three regions, being France, Asia Pacific, and the rest of the world, which represent about 54% of our total revenues, uh, which was offset by a very strong uh, growth in the US at plus 10%, a uh, very uh, good performance in the UK at plus 6%, and a solid growth in Europe at 2.5%. Um, but the revenue decline in, in France and in our emerging markets um, was the reason for this uh, slight profit decline. Having said that, we are um, seeing some acceleration of our growth in Q3, uh, driven by a return to growth in China, as well as an ongoing strong momentum in the US and, and in Europe, but uh, some ongoing weakness in, in France and a slowdown in the UK where we've clearly outperformed the, uh, the media market in the first half with 6% growth. I, I, I just want to sort of dig a little bit deeper into the geographies there that, that you've mentioned. You have some slowdown and you, so do you redeploy? Do you look more towards the United States of America? Do you deploy into the city strategy there, the outdoor advertising strategies there? Where will you redeploy, uh, as it were, your capital uh, as a result of, of, of how you see the world? But we, we, we continue to uh, deploy our capital in, uh, in the digitization of our premium street financial assets. Uh, we started last year in London, where we operate the largest uh, bus shelter contract in the world. We now operate 784-inch screens in London, which is the reason for the very strong performance in the UK last year and this year, uh, meaning that we're getting share in the UK media market. And we are doing the same in New York, uh, where we are digitizing bus shelters, uh, including on Fifth Avenue as well as newsstands. And this is doing extremely well. This is the reason for the 10% organic growth. But having said that, we continue to believe that the emerging countries, what we call the faster growth markets, will continue to, to uh, contribute significantly to the GDP growth on a worldwide basis. And, and that's why we continue to invest in Latin America, where we announced uh, some very significant organic uh, contract wins, such as the Sao Paulo Metro for 10 years, the Sao Paulo International Airport for 10 years, um, Tocumen in Panama for 10 years as well. Uh, we recently announced a merger with America Mobile, where in Mexico we are going to be 60-40, 60% for Jesse Deco and 40% for America Mobile. Um, for the outdoor advertising business, which is still very fragmented in, uh, in the second largest advertising market in, in Latin America, being Mexico. And um, in China, finally, which is um, a very big market for us, where we generate in Greater China more than 650 million euros on a yearly basis, we uh, secured the third largest advertising concession for Guangzhou Airport, which is the third airport, and we are now delivering in China 350 million uh, audience uh, numbers, uh, people, eyeballs on a yearly basis, as well as uh, 35 million on a daily basis in our metro concessions. Um, 